guys, how's it going? It's a uh, height here, and we're back with a brand new episode of the Norp Apolog game. And since the last episode, I have been pretty busy. We have unlocked 20 perks. That's right, 20 perks. And we are going to see how fast we can beat this game. So, to start with, I just want to go through what all of these default things are for people who don't know. So this increases the multiplier by 0.1 for every four, for every four employed NORPs. We get a bonus NORP every 10 minutes, which is awesome, and unlocks auto housing, which is also awesome. This is, as long as we have fewer than infinite NORPs, we need more. As long as we have fewer than infinite shards, we need more. You start with one NORP per spent talent slot, and clicking is twice as effective, which we don't really care about that much. This unlocks the shrine for us, which is super cool. I'll show you guys what that does in a moment. All Norps become empowered by inspiration, which allows you to fine tune your units according to your talent upgrades. I'll show you guys what this is too. It's kind of not the, not the most important thing. Zybelium, your knowledge of Zybelium deepens. You start with one loose Zybelium. Spending Zybelium constructs one house. Zybelium can now be coaxed to come closer by clicking the bulb, and that is not super important either. Gain up to four times increased multiplier over time. Starts at 10, increases by 0.1 every six minutes. Okay, so I've not actually played around with 20 of these things yet. This is the first time I'm going to have them. So I don't know exactly what I want to do. I think for sure we want Frostfire. It allows our rock to be on fire and on ice at the same time. Whenever an arrow is shot, another arrow is also shot. That sounds fine. I like that. Reclamation, infinite reverberation. There's one that turns the balloon guy into a Gatling gun that I kind of want. Oh, this turns the Gatling gun into arrows, which is great because we just doubled the amount of arrows. Here we go. The Gatling balloon. Perfect. And I think we want the fire damage. Fire damage now generates shares that fly much farther away. 2.5 times damage seems good. We'll get the popcorn. Extra housing. Every seventh house you build builds another for free. For sure we want that. You start with more NORPs and passive reclamation occurs less frequently but at a cost. Start with five NORPs. Passive rec reclamation speed is reduced by 20%. I think that's good. Pile grows twice as tall as before, before compression occurs. Now, if we were actually doing a speed run, I don't think we want this. But just to kind of see where everything is, I think we do. We're going to want this director. So now I have plus two to the multiplier. I'll show you what a director is. Ooh, this one for sure. Rockets no longer immediately seek the rocket. Every 20 seconds, all rockets currently in the air, all at once, strike the rock. Rocks trigger weak spots. Rocket range is increased to 3 to 7 from 0 to 5. We definitely want that. When reclaiming, the rock now prefers to pick shards closer to it rather than random ones with a bias towards shards at the top of the pile. We're going to do that. We still have 9 left. We want vulnerability, I think. We need more Zibelium. Unlocks the Zibelium Agitator. At the Rock Analysis Lab, Zibelium Agitator allows for the generation of an extra Zibelium. Let's do that one. Oh my god, I still have 7 left. All the cords can be active at the same time. I think we want that. I don't care about drones really at all. Jeez, we still have six left. What do I want? So this is going to reuse the arrows since we're going to have so many arrows. We want that. Gatling bullets now have a 10% chance to spawn a rocket. We're definitely going to want that because we are going to have a ton of Gatling bullets. We've got four left, and I don't know if any of these things are actually that great. I guess we can do Hiking Buddy. We can increase the number of weak spots, which definitely won't matter, and I'll show you that after. And we still have two left. Arrows, last hurrah. May as well do that just because we can. And... Bombers are not happy. Pocket Rockets. Eh. All right, I'm just going to pick this one just because we can. I don't even think we're going to have grenade, guys, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so the first thing is to get a whole bunch of stuff. And we're going to need to get some of that in 
our little stash here so that we can actually start building some things. This is going to be crazy. We're going for a speed run, even though we're not going for a speed run. You're going to love it. It's going to be awesome. So next thing, I don't want any slammers, and I'll show you guys why in a moment. We're going to need some runners. They're going to be the guys carrying our stuff for us. In fact, we're going to need a whole lot of these guys. We may as well just go ham. Okay, and now we can buy the House of Shards, which is great. We can increase our capacity by a little bit. Eh, do we need more runners? Yeah, let's make some more runners. Let's get up to 30. Okay, that is going to be good. The next thing we're going to want to do is unlock the rock analysis lab because that's going to allow us to unlock the balloon the abelium collection so we're going to be able to actually go over there and get the abelium now this this button here every time it goes white you can actually click it to pull the abelium closer and i just realized my sound is off there we go that's better okay so now we're getting some abelium coming in and with that, we're going to be able to do some fun stuff. Let's get the weak spot. And we're going to want the gunner. Gun versus rock. We can't afford that just yet. Let's hit all these weak spots. Okay, let's see. Coco Cafe. We probably don't actually need that, but we can unlock all of this stuff for now. We'll get the archery range going once we have enough room. Get some more housing going. Now we can buy the archery range. And we gotta get this gun versus rock, because that is how we're gonna buy our first Gatling gun. I think that's also gonna allow us to put a Gatling gun on this balloon guy, so we're gonna have to save up for that. 10,000, it's not too much. And these guys, we're gonna want them shooting... I don't actually know. Fire? Ice? I guess we can unlock them both, why not? And maybe we'll set it to fire for now. There we go. So that is going to start producing us some stuff. And it's probably going to be faster than we're going to be able to get rid of it. <laughs> so that is going to be something. Let's increase the capacity as much as we can. There we go. That should help. We can build the robotics lab. And I gotta save up for that gun, so that's what we'll work on next. Alright, we almost got $10,000. Where do I buy that? Right here. Almost there. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Gun versus rock. Let's go. Buy that. That is going to get us the Gatling gun, which is probably going to... Um, cause us issues because as soon as that guy gets over here and starts shooting this thing we are going to end up with a whole pile of shards but for now it's fine let's build some more housing oh god I didn't quite want to um, level up yet but anyway you can see here that 10% of our arrows are turning into rockets which is awesome and every 20 seconds, they all come and smash into the rock at the same time, which is extra cool. So let's get a few more runners. I'm going to go up to 40 here. We're going to get some increased speed. We're going to increase some capacity. And we are about to level up, which is fine. So here we go. We are now on to level 2. I should have probably got the break time thing going earlier i can do it now it just makes the guys go slower for one age and then they carry twice as much in the next age so there's that i should be able to turn this guy into a balloon gunner now oh we have to unlock the agitator i totally forgot about that that is going to sometimes duplicate our Zybelium when we go into a new age. I think it can go up to three times. Oh, we're already in age three. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well, that's fine. It's already up to 33,000. Let's see. The next thing we want to do, I think, is the garden. And I'll show you guys what that does here in a moment. 
Um, while we're waiting for that, what else can I unlock? Weak spot frequency we can get. And we don't care about any of that stuff right now. We can actually turn these into ice arrows? I don't know if that works or not. Oh, I think it is working. Yeah, yeah, we've got fire ice now. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on there. We can get this delivery rush achievement or perk here. Hire us two norps to act as cheerleaders. This is them right here. And all that does is, let's see. Runners get a one, I don't know what that is, point per second increase to their speed. So it's like a free speed upgrade basically, which is awesome. And we're just going to let this do its thing for a while. We've got two extra Zabellium, but I don't want to use them just yet. Uh, you know what? We could probably use one. Let's get another Gatling Norp. That'll be two of them now. Be twice as many rockets, twice as many bullets getting fired. All right, we're almost at 500,000 and we're also almost at tier four. This is getting pretty close for us here. But yeah, we got a little bit of room left. I'm trying to keep it down as much as possible, but I think we're gonna end up at the next level here very soon. Okay, we can unlock the garden. And I'll show you guys what that does here right away. So they're going to come. They are going to make us a garden. We're going to be able to start unlocking flower powers. Now the red one, it spawns like little Hulk guys. And they walk over here and they slam the ground. It creates a shock wave that pushes stuff this way. Now I don't really like them that much. I don't know. I'm more into the blue ones and the green ones. The blue guys are the directors. And when they drink the juice, maybe we can see one happen over here. When they drink the juice, they turn into a blue, a little director. And the directors go and they stand on top of the rock and they increase our multiplier. So let's see if we can get one of them working here. It might take a minute. We've also got to increase flower power. That was kind of the point of saving one of those. And then we're gonna wanna unlock both of these eventually. So we're pumping flowers into the grinder. That makes little like earth shape cubes and goes up here. Ends up getting squished and juiced, juicified. And then we sort the liquids into the prospecting corresponding tanks and then once that's all done I don't know how it pipes it down and around but it comes over here and it turns into free juice for these guys <laughs> and the green guys the green guys when they drink the juice they get sick and they puke all the way across over here and they end up putting acid on the rock which doubles the damage that we're doing to the rock and it's super important so we're gonna want to do that as fast as possible what else can we unlock while we're waiting? I can unlock the academy. Now, we don't really need it for much right now, but we can do it anyway. I may as well unlock the grenade launcher just for fun. And I think that is pretty good. Oh, we've got some acid on the rock there. We've got some, some puke showing up. Oh, so this guy's a director. Maybe we'll see. There, that's another director guy. I don't know if it shows what they're drinking. I don't know if it actually shows or not. But anyway, the directors. Here they come with their blue googly eyes. <laughs> and they just stand up on there and dance around for... I don't know how long. They stand up there and they dance around for a while. Oh yeah! And now they're taking the arrows. When they leave, they take the arrows with them. Which is great. <laughs> And they drop them off over here for our archers, so we don't have to make as many arrows. Boom! Look at that stack of arrows! Oh, you'll love to see it. Okay. So the next thing is the shrine, and that is going to unlock some extra perks for us once we get it. We need a million points, and we're almost there. And there we go. So we've got the shrine. That is going to pop up over here somewhere. I can't remember... Right there. 
Now this one, we unlock the Chosen. Now these guys are gonna walk over here and they're gonna take turns trying to pull the sword out of the stone. <laughs> and once one of them actually is able to do it, we can unlock some new perks. So we just gotta wait until this happens enough times. Like, I don't know how many times, I've never counted it. But we'll just wait for it. And once it happens, we'll be able to come over here and get a few more perks. I'll show you that in a moment. Oh, I just realized we have this modern warfare ability which turns arrows into grenade arrows oh turns rifle bullets into grenade arrows okay oh and also check this out it looks like our sword guy is done doing his thing so we can come over here we can do this when the rock reclaims shards, 50% of those shards are instead flung back into the pile. You can only have one accord active at a time, but we have the perk over here that lets us have more than one active. So we can actually get more than one of those. We're going to need more housing, unfortunately. And build housing, build housing. I want to save up for the additional housing because this here, every third house you build builds another for free and it works retroactively. So every three houses that I've already built, I get a free house. So we're going to save up until we have enough guys for that. That's going to give us a pile of extra Norps. Okay, here we go. Let's do that really quick. May as well build one more house. Why not? And then once we have enough for these guys, we can unlock them as well. When reaching overdrive threshold, a sword appears and deals 3% of the damage dealt the last minute as pure damage. Overdrive multiplier is now always maxed, which means I don't have to click anymore. And clicking no longer increases overdrive bar, but overdrive progress is automatically gained over time. You can only have one accord active, blah, blah, blah. We already talked about that. Damage unaffected by the multiplier is now affected by the multiplier at 13% efficiency. You can only have one accord active at a time, blah, blah, blah. We already talked about that. Okay, so there we go. These guys are getting their juice, and it does actually show the color of juice. I just saw some blue come out. There it is. Yoink! <laughs> there goes our director. Okay, so that's looking good. And we're heading off to the next level. What level are we on here? We are on to tier 6 already. Feels pretty good. We can unlock rocket arrows. A much needed upgrade to the standard arrow. All regular arrows become rocket arrows. You know what? That sounds good. Let's do that. Why not? Okay, now we are going to start unlocking the GEAT protocol. The NORP Expedited Express Throw Protocol is a rigorous training regiment running for runners. With the help of a little jetpack, they will learn to throw what they carry. So now they're going to start every once in a while, 10% of the time. Where did I go? Where did that go? 10% of the time, they are going to start jumping and throwing their stuff in, which means they don't have to run all the way back. And the most important thing about the Geet protocol, I should have done this sooner, but it unlocks the YX1AB. And I mean, there's a lot of text right there to read, but basically what happens is we build ourselves a rocket launching facility. Bingo. And then our guys, instead of throwing into here, are actually chucking it up and they're sending it all the way over to here. We're going to increase the rocket vulnerability. And as we start to turn our shards into the rocket, instead of sending them into our stash, they are producing us rockets. And this actually starts to get insane. Oh my god, it starts to get so crazy. So we're going to start focusing on this. We want this to go as m much as possible. And the capacity actually helps as well, I believe, because they just start chucking whatever they have. And the more they're holding, the more they can chuck. Which in turn creates more rockets, which in turn creates more damage, which makes more shards. And it's just a cycle. We can go around and around and around. So we're just going to want to get a whole pile of runners. The more runners we have, the more stuff we can throw. And the more stuff we can throw, the more damage we can do. So that's perfect. So as you can see here, right now our acid, our acid from the flower factory, which I've not even upgraded now that I'm thinking about it. We have to upgrade these. It is doing most of our damage. The rockets are also doing a pile, but the acid doubles all the damage that it takes. 
so the more rockets we have the more damage we do and if we have acid going at the same time it does even more damage so that is perfect and exactly what we want so the next thing we want to do is just start upgrading the number of rockets the x rocket count by one the y rocket count by one i don't know what that means exactly but the more you clip these the more rockets you end up having so i don't know what the difference between the x and the y rockets are if you guys know drop me a comment i would be interested to actually know what the difference is but it doesn't really matter i just keep upgrading them and uh we keep doing more damage so there we go we are now up to level seven three more levels to go till we beat the game and all we have to do is just keep upgrading our geek protocol upgrading our runners and i mean we've got some extra zybellium here i'm wondering what we could do we've basically unlocked everything pocket rockets none of this stuff matters because we don't have any of those guys i guess we could make more gatling norps there's also the ammo to make them shoot for longer but if we're going to do that i also want to get the sticky floral residue so that they don't get pushed all the way back once you start to do the triple they end up like way back here somewhere and then they have to walk all the way back so i think before we do this one i want to do this one which we can actually afford right now so we're gonna lock them into place I think they're coming to like around here right now and as you can see this guy is hardly moving it, it uh, reduces the travel time for them by a pile so from here to basically here and we're already on the level eight. Oh my gosh all right we're almost at the triple gatling norp ammo i think we're gonna do that next and then as soon as that is over Bingo. I mean, we may as well do this. We may as well do two more of them. Why not? Let's just go crazy. We'll do two more of those. I can do some more housing. We're getting kind of full on housing. But it looks good. Time to start saving up for Geet Protocol and unlocking more damage. Now, if we want to get more money faster, it's probably a good idea to actually get one of these Zynorps. Uh, we can also increase its capacity here. This is that thing I was talking about before. What's it called? It's the perk. Uh, the inspiration. That's the inspiration. So every building has inspiration. And you can like toggle them on or off. But the Zynorp. This one gains more stuff based on how much the runners have collected. And right now my runners have collected a pile. They are collecting 5.23 million right now. So that is awesome. I think I am going to spend one on a Zynorp. Now that's the telepathy guy who can pick stuff up and chuck it in there. So we're gonna see the number go up quite a bit here. And now our runners, I think, can be... Yeah, our runners are now ex inspired by the Zynorp. So they kind of inspire each other, which is great. Look how many rockets we have. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> oh, that is great. Okay, now we just got to save up some more money. We need more rockets. More, more, more rockets. All right, we're on to level eight, tier eight. We're going to need a pile more rockets, more rockets. Let's go. You can never have enough rockets. That is the true story. More rockets. We got six X and seven Y. Look at these guys. So it looks like these things go up and then like split into a pile of rockets i can't really tell how many like each one of these goes up here and like splits into five maybe that's what the x and y means anyway it's starting to get crazy just wait look at how many rockets we can fit i'm surprised it doesn't start to lag out or anything like that oh there they go here they come <laughs> 
<laughs> that is so crazy. Oh my gosh. All right, how much money do we have? We have 50 million. We're like a third of the way to tier number 10. I guess we just keep saving up money. We need more rockets. That's the only thing left to buy, I, I think. Maybe we can buy another Zynorp. That'll get us more money faster. And yeah, I mean, it is what it is. 80 million points. That's enough for some more X rockets. Man, we're getting, we're getting super expensive here. But that's okay, that's what we like to see. Also, don't forget, we have that one ability right in here. Every time this bar gets filled, we've got that guy who does 3% of my total damage just for free. And that's what this guy here is doing. So he's doing 18.1 million damage to that rock. This is a 21.1 million now. It's pretty good. The rockets though, the rockets are just destroying it and the acid obviously is doing very good because it just doubles all of our damage and it seems like it's like always on the rock, which is perfect. It does stack additively. So every time someone comes blowing over here with acid on their faces, it adds more duration. Right here it says zero seconds, so we gotta wait for another guy to come. Here comes one. There he goes. There he goes. Splat. <laughs> okay, so anyway, that's where that's at. I realize we haven't been upgrading our Geet protocol, so we need to do that for sure. We're up to 60% Geet. Which means we should be making rockets even faster. And now it does seem like it maxes out after a while. So maybe that's what the Y number is. I think maybe one of them is how many they split into. And one is how many can be made, perhaps. Um, so anyway, it seems like we're maxing out on the number that we can spawn right now. So we might have to increase. And I don't know which one's which. Or if that even is what it is. I, I have no idea. But somehow we have to get more rockets. This tower is getting pretty high though. We're almost at level 10. Getting dangerously close. Well, we're getting close. More Y rockets, please. Look at that, 380 million for the next two levels. All right. Anyway, that is working. Everything over here is working. I don't know what else we do. I think we just kind of wait. I've got no more Zybelium. And we don't really have anything else left to buy. So I think we just have to wait. All right, guys, we're almost at level 10. It's getting pretty close. I think we could actually speed this up um, if I turn off these guys. Actually, maybe I can't turn them off. I don't know if I can turn them off. Maybe I can't. The Zynorps are just, they are what they are. Interesting. Okay, well the only way that we could turn it off then I think is to turn these guys, uh, turn these guys off. But I don't know if we necessarily want to do that. Oh, it doesn't matter. We made it to level 10. We're gonna unlock some more Geet protocol. We have maxed it out. And I guess the only thing left to do now is unlock more capacity. And I mean, I don't want to spend all of my money. I think that's probably decent. Um, now we have to save up 300 and some odd million, almost 400 million times two. And we can get some more rockets. <laughs> now we just got to wait. So there is something that we had unlocked, I think. Now, here we go. We can unlock the railgun for 26 million. And that gets built over here somewhere. Now, the railgun, what it needs is 262 million, two Norps, that's the finale. And once we fill out this bar, which honestly, at the rate we're going, probably won't take too long. Once we fill up that bar, we will be able to turn the railgun on. And I think win the game launch a rocket i can't remember exactly what happens but we're gonna do it okay so we've unlocked the finale just to do it it took most of my money but i wanted to make sure that we had this stuff so there we go 
that is ready for us as soon as the bar gets full and now all we do is just wait spend some more money on rockets and that's it it's just kind of a afk game now we do have one more zabellium that we could use and i don't know necessarily what i really want to use it for like we could use it for another gatling gun but realistically the gatling guns are not really doing a whole lot of damage anymore so i'm not totally sure it's worth it i mean i guess it's better than nothing because right now i just have a spare and i don't know what to use it for i mean we could unlock this to teleport instead of walking i mean that'll get us more stuff faster we should be able to collect stuff faster i don't know if we necessarily need that or not hmm Oh my god, we've got 420 million! Uh... I don't know which one to do. Let's do this one. Oh god. 1.58... What's G? Gillian? Why is it not billion? Million... Jillian. <laughs> I have no idea what the G is supposed to mean. Maybe it just means like grand, 1,000 millions, one G. I don't know. I have no idea what that's, what that's trying to say. Anyway, we're, what are we at? Like 40% of the way-ish? 40-ish percent of the way? Um, not too bad. Right now we are damaging for around 200 million and only collecting around 86 million. So it's like, not bad. What is that, like 130 million extra per minute? Not bad, not bad. So this tower is growing. I don't know exactly how much stuff has to fit in here before it's maxed out, but at 130 million per minute, it's not bad. We are slowly making more rockets whenever we're able, which is great. It doesn't even look like they're stopping from being made anymore. They're just constantly getting pumped out. <laughs> There's no stopping them anymore, which is perfect. That's what I want to see. Although we are stopping pumping resources in every once in a while. So maybe, maybe there's a way to make them even faster yet. I don't know. I, I think we have to save up for this one. So I don't know if this number is just maxed out or what, but even after we upgraded the rockets last time, we're not really making more than 200 million. So I'm going to try this and we'll see if we're going to be able to get up, you know, over that 200 million number for any amount of time. It goes up over every once in a while, but I, I don't necessarily know if it's going to stay there. So we just unlocked another upgrade of rockets and we're still, we're like, we're down to 1.72. It seems like it's getting lower as we upgrade the number of rockets. Which just doesn't make any sense at all. But, I mean, I guess it is what it is. Maybe it's because we don't have enough acid. Eh, we, okay, we shot up to 225. It's probably based on if there's acid or not when all the rockets smash into it. Because if there's no acid, I mean, that would definitely be a problem. Let's see, we're about to smash into it again here. We just got an acid refresh. 220 million. Eh. I mean, I think it is going up. Slowly. I mean, regardless, we're making a net gain of 100 million, so eventually we have to win. Oh my god, we've made it! We've made it! I didn't even need to hit the one gigajoule or whatever the heck I'm trying to make. Let's do it. Let's go right now. Initiate. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh boy. Here goes the railgun. <laughs> 
Is that a rocket? I didn't think you needed a rocket out of a railgun. That doesn't really make sense, but... Oh, it's a miner. Oh, no, 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 no. There's guys in there. There's Norps in there. No. Oh, my God. Infinite damage. I mean, I guess that's infinite damage. It's just like there's a huge crack in it. New best speed run. Look at that. We did a speed run. Now, there's a few things that I would do differently if I was actually trying to be serious about this. That double high perk, we definitely do not want it. That double high perk is just no good. Um, but I don't know. It, this is a fun one. Let me know if you guys are able to beat the game. What is your best speed run time? I want to know. Let, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys do. Pretty fun. I don't think we're going to do any more of this one. There's other games to try, but yeah, once you've beaten it, it unlocks the speedrun mode, which is what I was just working on. 20 talent points, blah, blah, blah. And then you can just restart and you can keep going around and around it goes. But that is awesome, guys. I hope you liked our series here of Norp the Applog. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Don't forget to drop me a comment and let me know if there's any other neat, interesting games that you want to see on the channel because I'm always looking for new fun stuff to play. But other than that, guys, we are going to wrap it up right there. And I will see you next time.